I am going to check it out. Well, I think I found the secret ending. I will pick her up, escape from the cat, and uh, yes, I should take this path, okay. Let's see what happens there. Do that. Pick her up. And escape from the cat. It is then that I noticed a path that I've never seen before. Should I take this path? Uh, yeah. I should face with courage whatever I could find there. 2.57 AM. I don't know how long I have been running, but it's been some time since I last heard either voice or meows. But to my relief, I've finally stopped placing my hands on my knees. Feeling that I'm on the edge of fainting. I breathe through my mouth, trying to fill my lungs with as much air as I can, while my legs hurt as if they had been hammered mercilessly. This pain does not bother me because I'm feeling say I'm finally safe. At least temporarily. I'm still lost in the dark forest and uh, surrounded by this rotten air, but they don't feel nearly as bad as before. I look down at the ground while trying to catch my breath. Damn, how can I get out of here? I was confused and frustrated. I felt really anguished. I closed my eyes and let out a long sigh. <sighs> I had to calm myself. Easy. You can get out of this forest. Have a little rest and then continue walking. I gave myself a moment. I needed it. I open my, my eyes and at that moment I see there is something below me. I almost step on it. Because of the darkness and my desperation I had not noticed it before but confused I take a no day small hand that comes out of the ground is a human hand, at least in form. With only a glimpse, I could tell that it was a toy, a toy made of metal. Without hesitation, I bend down and start digging it out. Slowly, my hands move away from the earth that hid a toy, only to discover that it was a figure of a knight. It's a dirty, very worn down. Uh, and must be a very old toy. 
I raised the toy to my eyes, examining it carefully. It, Lillian. I read aloud what the toy had written on its back. It must be the name of the person whom it belonged to. I looked at it carefully, trying to think who Lillian might be. But naturally, the effort was just a waste of time. In the end, I have no other alternative than to continue walking in the dark. My break is over. Without delay, I move my feet and start to walk. This time, there is no need to run. I don't know where I might end up, but uh, I know that I don't want to be here. 3.17 a.m. What is this place? I asked myself when I arrived at the clearing in the forest only a few months since I found the toy half past. There is something strange about this place. Not because it's dark or oppressive as the rest of the forest, but uh, it's actually the opposite. I somehow find it Nostalgic for a lack of better word. The atmosphere here is pure and kind, as if it were a sanctuary from the darkness. Shake my head, confused. I don't give in to it, give it any more thought. May only be that I'm too far away from the cat, and that's why the curse is weaker here. At least I can see the night sky, and the full moon shines elegantly, surrounded by a blanket of darkness and stars, a beautiful image, but there is something strange about it. How here, wasn't there a half moon tonight? I said to myself as I look at the moon and try to remember a vague memory in mind. Anyway, that's not important, no one will not come to rescue me. I lower my sight, it was then I noticed that there was a cabin in the clearing. It was hidden under the shade of the trees nearby. That's why I didn't see it before, I think. The cabin looks old and worn down, even depressing. But I, But if I'm lucky, there may be someone there. I may not have managed to escape, but I could wait for sun to rise in cabin. I am sure that when the night ends, so will my concerns. Without wasting any more time, I decide to enter the cabin. The I open the old door slowly, observing that no one is waiting for me on the other side. Apparently it is empty. The atmosphere is quiet, it's a sad silence, as if the place had been forgotten by all. As soon as I put feet into the cabin, curiosity takes control of me. An in inexplicable desire to explore the place is born in me. After all, it seems to be the most interesting thing I could do at the moment. Although I doubt it can be the excitement of running for my life. Thank God. Inside, there is not much special. First thing I notice is that uh, it does not have many of the modern commodities, such as electricity, telephone, or water, pi water pipes. Everything is rustic. It seems that the uh, place was even older than it appeared to be, as impressive. Uh, as it sounds. In the, oh, in the living room there is a fireplace with curiosity. I look inside of it, but there is only ash. No one had used it in a long time. At the table I see that there were three empty plates. It was as if the family that lived here was getting ready to eat. Except that there was no food for them. I then decide to enter the room. Rooms. 
The first one had a double bed. No much else there, I saw just a wardrobe and a chest of drawers made of wood, yet both were empty. If there were ever clothes in them, they must have had disappeared with the time. Then I go to the second room. In this, the bed is smaller. I guess only one person used it. The first thing I notice is that there are toys on the floor. Figures of animals made of wood. Also some marbles. And a ragdoll. Whoever lives here, or better said lived here, did not seem to have a great interest in order. However, I can't imagine that was very important after all this time. My first impression is that the room belonged to a girl. At first sight, the room appeared to have nothing special, but after checking the place, uh, better, I found a notebook. I observe the notebook with curiosity and open it to the first page. Everything is fuzzy, but from what little I can manage to understand, I seem to it seemed to be a diary. It does seem to be a diary, huh? All the pages were worn down and writing is so blurred, I couldn't understand almost anything. I go through every page until I find a fragment that was strangely preserved. Today, Dad returned home with a toy. It was a knight in silver armor. As in fairy tales, I can't even describe how happy I felt when I saw it. Immediately I ran to him and gave him a strong hug. The toy must have been expensive, but he said that blacksmith owed him a favor. When I finished reading, I realized it was talking about the same toy I have in my hands. You must be Lillian, I said, speaking to the diary, without for an answer, without waiting for an answer. But then my curiosity led me to check the other pages until I fa again found a legible fragment. It was right at the end of the diary, many pages away from the day in which she got this toy. Mum woke up, woke me up, suddenly in the middle of the night. She and Dad seem to be altered. It's not like when they fight, but without a doubt something is happening to them. Mum told me to pack only what is necessary and prepare to leave. There is no time to even talk about it. Why do we have to leave? It is very late. I'm sleepy. I want to stay in bed. After that, the diary ends abruptly without having ever even, scro even scrolls on other pages. It was abandoned as his house was without looking back. It sounds rather sad, but it seemed that they had an important reason to do so. It was then that I suddenly heard the sound of footsteps inside the cabin. My heart freezes at the moment. Don't know why, but an incredible fear invades me. The room's door slowly begins to open, only to reveal the person behind it. Eh? exclaimed a confused girl dressed in black who looked more or less my age. She had an extraordinary beauty. Sorry about that. That was, um, <clears throat> that scared me. Fuck. Um, excuse me for that. She had an ex <clears throat> She had an ex <clears throat> oh 
All right. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> she has an extraordinary beauty with golden hair and blue eyes. She is surprised to see me, but no more than hours. Is it possible that there is another person caught in this cursed forest? Why are you here? The girl asked me, her blue eyes set uh, their gaze on me. At first, she does not seem angry, but later she, her expression becomes more aggressive. What were you doing? She narrows her eyes, as if trying to look inside of me. Sorry, I saw this cabin and I felt the urge to explore the inside. I respond immediately. I didn't think it would bother anyone. This cabin seemed abandoned long ago. So nervous, I start to sweat. After saying that the room is surrounded by an awkward silence, the girl looks at me in silence for a few seconds before suddenly laughing. I see, he must be the knight who I was calling before. She said with a sweet smile. A blink, surprised. You were the voice that I heard inside my mind? It's hard to believe what I just heard. I remember the voice called me to a place, but that evil cat would not let me pass. The girl laughs softly before nodding a couple of times. Yes, that was me. While speaking, she looks at me in eyes, uh, looks me in the eyes with tenderness, tenderness. I feel something warm in my heart just from seeing that look of hers. I actually wanted you to come to this place. But I don't know why you started to run in the opposite direction. Uh, the girl looks a little sad after saying, saying that. However, she quickly recovers her smile. And that's why I went out to look for you. I would have never imagined that you would end up here. Me neither. I was just walking without, uh, without knowing where I was going. Looking for the way out of the forest. I replied sincerely. I guess I'm lucky, uh, but uh, there is something in her voice that I don't like. Anyway, if it comes from a girl so sweet, I should be good. At the moment, I noticed that girl never stopped staring at me. Her eyes contemplate me with uh, so much adoration that uh, I feel both flattered and uncomfortable. I take a step backwards because of my anxiety, but she instantly takes a step forwards. Brave Knight, there is something I need to ask you. The girl unexpectedly said. I don't know if that is appropriate way of addressing me, but uh, I cannot deny that I like it. What is it? I gulp shortly after asking. <coughs> My heart beats fast. <laughs> and then the girl goes one step further and then another. <laughs> she is now so close that I can smell her faint scent. It seems that she did not know the concept of personal space. It was then that I realized I suddenly heard something hit the ground. The surprise makes us both silent. At that moment, I realized something that should be in my hand. No longer was there. Unwittingly, I dropped my night time. My anxiety made me clumsy. That's... said the girl after a short silence. The look in her eyes had changed completely. She is astonished, suddenly something had stolen her breath. 
The blue eyes are no longer concentrated on me but look down at something that is on the floor. Where did you find that? The other girl asked astonished. I do not know how to react, I just silently bent down to pick up the toy, then offered it to her kindly. After hesitating for a moment, she almost snatches it from my hand. It seemed to be something very precious to her. I found it buried in the forest. I replied kindly, as I see how embarrassed. How she embraces it. Ah, with such tenderness that makes me smile. I guess that you must be Lillian. She nods. Yes, my name is Lillian. And then she returns her gaze towards my face. Her eyes reflect a shy and pure kindness. Thank you, she said timidly. My name is Axel. You don't have to thank me. Even if I uh, couldn't escape, it seems that I would have some company. If all goes well, we only have to wait until sunrise. Okay, I give one more look at Lillian. The first thing that is noticeable is her great beauty. But after seeing more carefully, I noticed that there is something more. Its presence is a little strange. She blinks after realizing I'm looking at her. Immediately, however, I avert uh, my slightly no my sight nervously, only to hear her laugh. You're the girl who lived in this house, is that right? I asked stealing myself for what she was gonna answer. How is it that you are still in this place? I hope. Perhaps are you some kind of ghost? Or something like that? Mm, Lillian looks at me, looks me in the eyes and with tenderness. Do I look anything like a scary ghost? Is it playfully? Immediately reply saying, no, but with the shake of my hand. You're right, I lived in this cabin for a long time with my family, but that is another thing of the past. Could you tell me about that? I ask I did uh, by my curiosity, without thinking that it might be something personal. Lillian closed her eyes and thought about it for a second. Mm, I could, but only if you promise to help me before listening to it. She said, looking at me later with puppy eyes, quietly be begging for my approval. I cannot stop thinking that this girl is adorable. Something does not convince me. I uh, promise to help you? Said without much energy. Before promising that, I need to know what kind of help you want from me. Oh, my words are firm. I don't want her to ask later for my soul or drink my blood. Uh, Lillian makes a childish and annoyed face for a couple of seconds. I just want a bit of your energy, Knight. If you give it to me, then I'll respond to all your questions. After saying that, she can gives a tender look towards me. I do not understand what she means by energy, but uh, not like I'm a battery. I do have many questions that I would like to ask. I doubt for a moment uh, before sighing uh, with resignation. It seems there is no other way out. Okay, but uh, 
How will I do this? I ask, looking at her confused. Lillian smiles, unexpectedly full of joy. It is very easy. You just need to kiss me, knight. I responded as if it wasn't anything special. Did I hear well? Kiss her? Kiss her? I lost my breath just from thinking about it. It seems that coming to the forest had been a good idea after all. I suddenly feel Lillian caressing my cheek with one hand. I turn to see her face only to discover she is very close to me. Instantly, I blush. But shortly after, I notice something strange. My body feels cold. I don't know how to explain it, but her presence is strangely faint. The texture of her skin is nice, but at the same time, weak. Lillian smiles when she looks me in the eye with a mischievous face. I still must reward you for giving my giving me back the toy. She said gently while approaching her lips to mine, slowly savoring every moment. I couldn't do anything to stop her. Soon, I felt her lips against mine. At that moment, I felt as if I had been possessed. My desires take control of my body, forcing me to kiss her passionately. As if we were lovers seeing each other after a long time. I closed my eyes. I don't need to see, just feel the love from her lips. Her, the sweetness soon dies, being replaced with a stabbing pain, as if someone had stabbed needles of ice along my back. Without thinking, I break the kiss and move away from her. Oh, what did you do? I ask, giving an astonished look at uh, Lillian. What was happening to me? I felt, I feel, I feel cold, as if she had stolen half of the heat from my body. I only feel, I also feel heavy. You don't need to fear. I just took a portion of your health as we agreed. Answered um, Lillian, looking at me with puppy eyes. That begged me, begged me not to get angry with her. But don't worry, you'll soon feel better. He added shortly after. I became silent, just from seeing her. I could not be angry with someone like her. Then I sigh, leaving my anger and concerns with my breath. Soon after that, I noticed that Lillian does nothing more than look at me tenderly, waiting for me to say something. It was then that I realized something. Suddenly the presence of Lillian becomes heavier. Eh? I exclaim with curiosity. But before she could, she felt almost transparent. But now I can see her with solid colors. As if before she was just a reflection, and now she was real. Before my presence was partial, dim, but now I have more power thanks to you. 
Lillian explained, giving me a smile. Now I understand why she wanted my help, but after hearing that, one thing is clear to me, she is not human. With that, do you have anything you wanted? I ask a little disgusted. I can't say that uh, I'm happy after the kiss. I still have some difficulty understanding. Uh. <laughs> Lillian responds with an order. Yes, I will now respond to your questions, kind light. Her words are honest, just like sweet. Look in her face. Uh, well, it seems that I can trust her. After looking at her for a moment, my lips finally move. What are you exactly, Lillian? Was my first question. No doubt it must strange, sound strange. But there is something here that does not make sense. You're really not a ghost, or perhaps you're a witch? Lillian uh, stares carefully at me before laughing softly and closing her eyes a moment. Then she looks directly into my eyes. He got one of them right, my knight. He paused. I really am a spirit, but before I was a witch who lived in this place. A spirit. I was confused. How is that any different from a ghost? To me it sounded like the same thing, but then I see Lillian shaking her head in denial. He then looks me straight in the eye. A ghost is the soul of someone who died, and which by some force. The spirit on the other hand is a different entity. They have a much more powerful presence and do not necessarily come from the dead person. Can you explain it simpler? I asked completely lost. I guess she knew how to differentiate them. But all of this was completely new for me. Lillian then laughs sweetly as if like confusion was adorable. A ghost is someone who died, but their soul stays on the earth. A spirit is a supernatural entity, but does not need to come from a living being. An example would be fairies or spirits of the fairies. Much. I slightly, uh, I silently take a moment to connect the dots. Hmm. Exclaimed thoughtful, uh, but before uh, looking back at her beautiful face, 
Her blue eyes uh, patiently wait for me to say something. So you mean that you were a witch before, but somehow ended up becoming a spirit of the forest? I ask quizzically. After hearing me, Lillian nods and then gives me a smile. That's right. I was young, I was a young witch who lived in this cabin with her parents. But unfortunately, But a, a moment later, uh, she is back to normal, it must be an error of mine. Oh, but something happened, Af and after that I ended up becoming a spirit. Added uh, Lillian soon after, giving more light to the situation. When she said the last word, uh, she gave me a sweet small smile. Licking at me with her pure innocence, I understand. I murmured, however, uh, there was still something important I wanted to know. My eyes then set on Lillian. Why were you calling me before, Lillian? I asked with sharp look in my eyes, as if trying to see the inside of her soul. Because I need your help as an eye, kind night. Uh, that's why she called us. Okay. Uh, because also to protect you. Hearing her say that surprises me, but she doesn't seem to be lying. I think you've seen it. The evil cat that lives in this forest. Uh, she is stupid evil spirit. No, the image of cat flashes in the mind at the moment. She's right, it was because of the cat that I ended up in this place. Only the cat is the one who cared this rotten, sinister atmosphere. Uh, before I was happy as uh, the spirit of the forest. Uh, 
uh, the joy that surrounded me gave me energy that fed me. Since that car uh, cap appeared, nobody has come. I said uh, with a better idea of uh, situation. Finally, there is only one last thing I'm curious about. Lillian, do you know something about uh, the disappearances of the five men which took place in the forest? Lillian seems surprised by the question, but she's quickly regaining her composure. What a fragile look in her face. She nods twice. Yes, yes. They are dead. The cat stole their white land and she killing them. Yeah, well, I am confused too. I keep falling asleep in between the uh, story. Lillian immediately shakes her head and while showing me the palms. Uh, in a shy gesture uh, that said I was wrong. Oh, uh, it's very difficult. Uh, I don't uh, stop and... Uh, It's very different. Uh, she didn't sh stop and uh, ended up taking all life from them. Who killed such a kind knight like you? Uh, who won't really come to uh, me to give me something so precious? Explain Lillian. Uh, basically, they were uh, they had the same power, but different intentions.
I was thinking about it for a moment with his eyes down. Uh, I remember uh, return rather than return my key rise to rebellion. I uh, still have one dot left. Because it is only a uh, night in which we can materialize once we uh,
wanted Lillian uh, quickly. Uh, speaking with uh, perfect calmness, as if it were something extraordinary. Uh, fortunately, uh, my look of confusion seemed uh, enough to tell her that uh, I didn't understand well uh, what she meant. Uh, during the night of the Halloween magic, uh, magic becomes uh, more powerful. All the other days, uh, I'm only as invisible. I'm only as an invisible being. I'm only an invisible being. Oh, yeah. I'm only an invisible being uh, that cannot do more than observe this forest. Uh, but on the night of Halloween, I am able to show my presence and appear. Uh, you're trying to say that these, uh, that during the other days, you don't have any powers? I uh, ask curiously. Uh, that would explain uh, well what is happening. I guess it would be uh, the same case for uh, the cat, uh, only in this night uh, she can be dangerous, uh, Lady or not. Uh, yes, uh, that's right, Bernard. Uh, look at her, it's sincere. I see. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, that was everything I wanted to know. I never thought uh, that I uh, would say something like this on uh, this night, but her answers have been... Uh, of great help. Uh, finally, I, uh, I felt uh, uh, more confident uh, and uh, not as lost as before. Uh, now, only thing left uh, was to wait for the sunrise uh, in this cabin. Fortunately, uh, the atmosphere has uh, seemed more friendly and uh, seems more friendly and calm. Uh, once uh, the sun rises, I will escape without problem. I uh, would have survived a wickedness of the cat. Uh, I was lost in my thoughts, uh, and suddenly I noticed that uh, Lillian had upon me. Um, her eyes told me that she wanted to ask me something else. Uh, is anything wrong, Lillian? Uh, or to ask not what happened? Uh, instantly responded to the heart. Um, good night. Uh, now that uh, you know the truth, uh, uh, there is a special mission in which I need your help. Uh, I want you to help me defeat the cat and break this house. Um, I will sleep me now. Uh, I set a lost from that. Um, defeat her, uh, but uh, what could I do against that cursed cat? I'm just not a normal person. Uh, without a doubt, I'd like to uh, put an end to the curse, but uh, I can't uh, take impossible tasks. After hearing me, um, I did with hope. Uh, you don't have to fear, Knight. Uh, you're much stronger than you think. Uh, then you look. Uh, you have a large amount of magical energy sleeping within you. Uh, Lillian Bosses. Uh, you'll have. You'll also have my support. Uh, then Lillian, that that's closer to me. Uh, having her so so close uh, makes me nervous. Uh, I hope uh, she doesn't want uh, more energy, although I wouldn't complain if she wants another kiss. Uh, do you really need my help, Lily? Uh, it sounded so dangerous. Uh, uh, I, pref I would prefer not to be in a fight. Uh, she nods uh, before looking at me with uh, pleading eyes. It's the silent look of relief. Uh, yes, it's necessary. Um, Cat and I have always uh, have a uh, very evenly matched power. Um, but uh, your presence tonight uh, that could uh, give me the victory. Uh, there is nothing more, uh, uh, nothing but uh, tenderness in my uh, blue eye, in her blue eyes. Um, it's hard to say. No, to look like that. Oh, my heart beats fast with anxiety. Honestly, uh, I don't want to meddle with the, between them, uh, but if uh, what she says is true, uh, that I can make a difference and uh, put an end to this curse one, once and for all, then I have to do it. Uh, okay, I will help you kill the cat and end the curse. I said full of determination. Uh, it's hard to believe that uh, words came out of my mouth, uh, but uh, there are times that uh, we have to be strong. I cannot uh, forget that uh, she had killed innocents before. Surprised uh, to hear me say that? No. I said, don't kill her. 
I'm just saying that she's what she says stay silent, she seems scared. Uh, I look at her without understanding what is wrong. You get her, uh, she will later be reincarnated as a more evil and power, more powerful thing. Uh, this is the first time that I've seen Lily in this video, We're worried. No doubt it's something serious. Knight, please trust me. Uh, the best thing we can do uh, is capture her. This is precisely the mission I had for you. Capture her? Um, I, repeat, I, I repeat confused. I was trying to look at her eyes. Um, Lily nods. Uh, yes, uh, if you see that uh, she tries to take her own life, you must help her. And uh, how am I supposed to do that? Uh, I was not fully convinced of this plan. Uh, my reflexes are not uh, better than your cat, for sure. Uh, I'll use my magic to strengthen your body. Uh, as soon as uh, the combat starts, uh, she'll place all her attention on me. And you see uh, that uh, she's about to take her life. Uh, you must move as fast as you can and hold her for a minute. Uh, Lillian said, uh, placing all of her trust in me. Okay, I understand. Uh, and so put determination um, uh, this was our plan of course a counter-attack uh, with uh, my help uh, this long curse would finally break very well uh, you can count on me Lillian uh, after hearing me Lillian is filled with joy she uh, closes her eyes for a moment um, when she opens them she Gives me a look filled with love uh, along with uh, a radiant smile. Uh, for a second, I felt as if uh, we had been in love for years. Uh, something beautiful but false. Um, more than saying that, I would help her. Uh, it seemed like I was making a bigger, bigger commitment uh, and therefore a more cherished one. Uh, as if I had promised that I would always be her ally. Uh, in any case, uh, I was happy to